even, even, even later than that. We're going to go here. We're going to feel some tension. Yes. Then you do take a little step. Let me repeat. You do take a step, but it's mostly opening the door. Okay? This side can underhook. And I hold myself. So I get to my chest. We feel a little bit of pressure. It's very important, actually, that I meet him a little bit in the beginning. Not that I am trying to push him back, so to speak, but I also am not too soft too early. That I, I, I kind of, <clears throat> and whoa, what, what's, boom, and then, and then go, sorry, and then go for it. So we're here, chest to chest, hey, 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 I'm, meet, I'm giving him a little pressure, giving him a little pressure, step, and then under both the arm. Got it? Questions? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm still, the goal is still the same. I want this shoulder up and over. <clears throat> you follow? It's probably not gonna be that big, unless you're, I mean, he's stepping in, but he's already kind of there. So it's a little trippy in that sense. Okay, so we're a couple steps away from the big, classic, pure technique. Okay, let's, yes, when you do step out in this particular scenario, is the out kind of out and forward? So yeah. So this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump ahead. This is what's coming next. But I think, me personally, I think of my step as indistinguishable from a so okay. Completely and so. Shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder to shoulder. Except when I get here, I turn. Oops. So I'll the face opposite, so I'll keep this grip, okay? But I want to go shoulder to shoulder, but before we make that contact, I turn my hips. No, sense. Yep. So if it's easier for you, you can start kind of left shoulder to left shoulder. And then, boom. As opposed to starting your head on the right side, which just takes a little more bumping his head over. Okay, but if it's easier in the beginning for you, go left side, feel a little tension, and then go. Okay? And again, because you don't get unlike, this is where we have to understand real fighting versus formal technique. In the beginning, I got to dictate exactly when and exactly where and exactly what rhythm he said. When he's pushing at me this way, I don't get to make the same determinations exactly. So it may be here, maybe a little more here, but the principle is the same. Block really low on the foot, rotate, hold him up and forward, rotate, and really get his chest beyond. Okay. And help encourage that contact. But the timing is important because if, if, I'm the, if I'm the bull, right, and he's the matador, if he goes too big too early, I just follow him. Right? So do the same movement. I'm not going to see him go and keep going this way. So there has to be a certain level of, I really think I'm going to get him. Right? So the matador waits until the last second. And finding that, as you're probably going to be late sometimes. Yep. Or you're going to be like, oh, too big, I'm too far. I can't really sit. So finding that where the proper level of commitment he just turn. More the turn than it is big step. Just, just enough to get out of the way. Just enough. No more. We want to make contact on this. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I like just making a little. You know, again, we don't need to be right. two rams going at for mating rights. Okay, but. You have to have a little bit, it's the feeling, again, it's kind of like walking. Yeah. How long am I going to stay there for five, six, seven seconds feeling this guy's tension before I knee him in the nuts? Probably not, but I'm going to do something. But just to get the feeling of okay, tension. And then release of that tension. It was not kind of telegraphing, and forward and then back. You're there, you're there, you're there, and then you're not there. That feeling. Okay? All right. I just, 